I recently covered the Zoom F6 and its audio interface capabilities when you connect it to a Mac. Now today in this video, I want to talk about what happens if you connect the same device, the Zoom F6 audio recorder, to an iPad Pro. This here is a model that has a USB-C port, so let's talk about that. First up, the Zoom F6 is an incredible audio recorder, especially with its dual AD converters and the 32-bit floating point audio recording. However, for audio interface mode, that's actually not necessarily applicable because in audio interface mode, you always have to go back to 24-bit mode. Now, that's, however, not necessarily that bad because then you actually gain access to the advanced limiters, which also protect you a lot from clipping and are really, really good sounding. So that's not necessarily something to worry about. Now, in this video, I want to specifically highlight how you can use this as an audio interface with your iPad Pro, with the stereo mix down, with the multi-track mode, and the multi-track mode with recording is also possible in this setup. Now, with previous versions of iOS, there have been different implementations that were necessary to actually get this to work. However, with the current version of iOS and the iPad Pro, which already has a USB-C port, you actually can use this as if it were a computer. So let's try out the stereo mode first. For that, we can go into the settings. There under system, we can go to USB and there go to audio interface, stereo mix. Now, as we have this activated, it is going to change into the special stereo mix mode, which now, if you go into the menu, will only give you a certain restricted set of functionalities. However, it also automatically goes into 24-bit mode, which you can see based on the fact that these green lines are kind of like these stripes in between, whereas the 32-bit floating point mode is a clear color without any of those black lines in between. So that's how it's set up. Now we have a signal on channel 2, which is this microphone right here. And now with that, we can take the USB-C cord and plug it into the iPad on the bottom right there move away the Zoom F6 from here because I can't do a screen recording whilst also using this audio interface. And I'm going to demo all of this with the GarageBand app from Apple because it is free and available and yet it also features multi-track recording. So that's really cool. With that, we're gonna create a new voice recording and you can already see the signal that is coming from this microphone right here. We can lower the gain a little bit right there so that we are not clipping as much. And now you can see we have a signal right there. This is the signal from this microphone and I can even choose between different channels, channel one and two, as well as the stereo channel in this case, because we are getting the stereo mix down. And now I can also activate the monitoring here on the screen and that would actually send the signal again back to the Zoom F6 and there, it is then sent out of the headphone port. However, that doesn't really make any sense because you are also monitoring your own audio from this microphone when you are plugging it into the Zoom F6. So this is just going to create an infinite loop and that way it's not really helpful. What we can do here is now we can hit the record button, we get a pre-counter, and now the audio that we are speaking into this microphone is going to be recorded on the iPad inside of GarageBand. Now, if I hit the stop button right there, go into the track mode, and there we can actually see the signal that we just recorded from the microphone through the stereo mix down of the Zoom F6. Now, this is how you use the stereo mix down mode. However, what about the multi-track mode? And for that, we're going to go back into the menu on the Zoom F6, exit, the stereo mix down mode. And once that is done, we can go back into the menu under system, under USB, we can go into audio interface mode and there select the multi-track. Now, quickly to talk about this Stereo Mix iPad. This is the one where I mentioned previously that in the past there were special modes necessary to make this compatible with iOS and iPad. And that's why there is this Stereo Mix iPad, which you don't necessarily have to use in this configuration with the iPad Pro, the newest iOS version and USB-C. So that's not necessary anymore. And similarly, the multi-track is displayed as PC and Mac. However, it also works with iPads that are now of these newer generations. So we are just going to select this multi-track mode. It starts up and once again, you can see we are in this limited mode in 24-bit mode. And now I can go back to the iPad. There, we can see we don't want monitoring. 
And with that, we can go back into the settings for recording. So let's go into the mic mode. And here we now, if we go onto the channel selection, have all six of the inputs as well as three of the stereo inputs, meaning channels one and two are mapped together, three and four and five and six. And that way you can also record stereo signals. However, we are going to just select channel number two. And now that we have the setup, again, we have the signal from this microphone already coming into this device. Now this time around, it's going to take the signal directly from channel two. So if I hook something up to channel one, then I would actually also have to create a second track that is going to record channel one. And for that, we can go into the track selection up there. Here, we can create a new track, create a new voice track right here. And with that, we wanna select, for example, channel one as our input. Now, if I go back into the track overview, you can see we have two different tracks and we can actually arm both of them for recording. So right now, both of those tracks would be recorded as I hit the record button. And right now you see that we have two tracks recording. And of course we are overriding the previous signal and on the lead vocals track that you can see there on the screen, nothing is being recorded because right now we don't have anything plugged into the Zoom F6 on that port. So this is how you can easily do multi-track recordings on your iPad inside of GarageBand with a recorder like the Zoom F6. Now the Zoom F6 also has a mode, which is the audio interface mode with recording capabilities. So we can change to the audio interface with REC, turn this on, and that means that basically the Zoom F6 functions in 24-bit mode as it normally would with everything else going on. However, it is also activating the audio interface. And that means that now again, we have it available right here on the iPad. Now, if I go onto this track here, for example, we can still select all of those inputs. However, this time we actually also have channels seven and eight available to us, and also the stereo track seven, eight, which in this case is the mix down of all of these channels on the Zoom F6. So we wanna go in and select channel one again. Let's go there, then go back on the channel track overview, select the channel number two, there we again also have all of those selections available to us and we can go back to the main screen, position our marker. So let's go there. And with that, now I can hit record or arm those for recording. I can record on those two tracks and there we start the recording. And as you can see, we have our signal, which is relatively silent. However, it is there. But now in addition to the recording on the iPad, I can also arm this for recording on the Zoom F6 itself. And now both of those are recording at the same time. Now, all that is great if you wanna use this for recording on your iPad with the Zoom F6 as your audio interface. But what if you wanna bring that audio interface and with that your podcast mic, for example, into something like Clubhouse? And that actually also works but it only works in stereo mix down mode because you don't really have any way of routing those eight different channels or six different channels in the multi-track modes to the Clubhouse application. So for that, we again have to go into the system, go into USB and then select off with the audio interface with recording. And once that is the case, we can go here and change into stereo mix mode. And as this is started, we have our microphone ready to go like this. And now on the iPad, we can actually open up the Clubhouse app and I have a room ready to go. And as this is connected via USB-C, I'm actually asked to switch into music mode. So let's say I want to go into music mode because for example, you wanna have other inputs into this device where we are going to produce music out of. Now, as you can see, we have a signal on the speaker right here. And if I tap the microphone on the iPad, there's actually no signal coming there. So this is actually the signal from right here. And now the audio from other speakers would actually be output right here on the Zoom F6's audio port for the headphone jack. So this is how you can actually use something like the Zoom F6 with the iPad Pro. However, with this setup, you're not able to record the conversation in any kind of way. And of course, you only can use all of this as the stereo mix down inside of Clubhouse. Now, this is a setup with the USB-C connection that works on the iPad Pro as a speaker in Clubhouse. 
However, if you do something similar on the iPhone, you actually have to use the TRRS connection as of recording these videos, because there, for whatever reason, the phone call integration only works if you are actually using an analog TRRS signal. If you use any type of microphone that you can connect via USB to the iPhone, it will not work. Now, all that said, if you want to learn how to connect a professional-grade microphone to your iPhone for Clubhouse use, then I have a couple of videos linked in the description below, because that's also something I covered on the channel. Now, that was my overview of using the Zoom F6 as an audio interface for the iPad Pro. I'm really stunned how far iOS has come and how it is now capable of even handling these types of recordings. Now, if you have any questions around this topic, you can leave those in the comment section down below, and I'm going to try to answer you there or make a video specifically about your question. And while you're down there, I always appreciate a thumbs up. Now, with all that said, I hope you have an amazing day, make your recordings sound amazing, and I will see you in the next video. Ciao, ciao!